Hello Pirates, let's take a look at how to build Conquerors. I've received a lot of messages of, from people asking me about Trencher builds or Warhound builds and I thought instead of giving a build, I'm going to show you how to build pretty much any Conqueror. Most players who are strong on the PvP side in hitting bases, they have multiple specialized builds and then on the other hand, you have people who don't have much experience and don't know exactly what to build. So I'm not addressing this video to people who already build highly specialized preparation fleets and main hit fleets and long range fleets and tank fleets and whatnot. This is for people who want to have decent conquerors that will allow you to hit your average base and will allow you to do well in bounty. So this video is for you. And let's start with the principle number one. Whenever you build a conqueror, try to do the first version of it with just one third cannon one, which adds one second to the whole time here. Don't put the weapons, don't put the specials, just empty with one third one. And the main reason for that is after you do the first build, when you go and refit, you enjoy a lot of bonuses where you can save 30% or more time equipping armor, equipping specials and weapons later. Why is that? Primarily because if you've been upgrading your labs, for instance, I go in my naval lab and I click more, here, I have a 30% refit bonus on armors. So if I add the armor after the initial build, it's going to take 30% less time. If you've upgraded your weapons lab, click more. Now this one I have 30% reduction for all ships and another 5% for tier 0 to 9 ships. So 35% on a trencher, which is a tier 9 ship. I'm upgrading my Intel lab because it also gives me some bonuses. So, you know, the more you have these guys upgraded, the more time you save on refits. So I'm going to start with, with the first things you got to understand about the ship you're building. A good idea is to look at the attack bonuses the ship has built in. For instance, the trencher has ballistic damage. So naturally, you should be putting cannons on this ship. You come in here, you select a different hull, let's say a Warhound. It has concussive damage, so naturally some sort of Gatling gun or depth charge. You also have to look at the, the type you can equip on a slot. For instance, here, it's only standard weapons, meaning no torpedoes, no underwater weapons, no countermeasures can be used in these slots. If we use a different example, and I select the subjugator, it's only air weapons, meaning UAVs is the only type of weapon that falls under the air category. And then you can also see the bonuses here are UAV related. So that tells you what you got to do. So once you know that, right, we can just come back and select the right type of weapons for that ship. So for this one here, you go on blueprint and you just look at the best UAV available, the one that matches the tier usually. So you see here the affliction UAV is tier eight. The subjugator is tier 8, so that's, that's the right weapon you put in there, boom. If you're working with a trencher, it's a tier 9 ship, you come in here, blueprint, you filter down to cannons, and we actually find the prime agitator right here, which actually says there, holes, trencher, so this one only goes in the trencher, so that's the right cannon, there's no second guessing about it, you just put it there. Do people build alternative things with different weapons? Yes, if you're in a large alliance, you know that. You know people put different things. But again, if you're not in a large alliance, you don't have the strategic specific builds, focus on the basics, get it right. And this is getting it right. You put the right cannon on the ship. Okay, if you're building, instead of a trencher, you're building a warhound. You see this weapon can even be here. So we come in here and we have a Gatling gun, it's concussive. The Hound has concussive bonuses. That's the right weapon. Actually it says right there, Hulse, Warhound. Kicksai is making this really easy. So you pick this one, 
and that's the weapon you put in there. Boom, simple period, no questions. And that's it about weapons. It's really simple. You look at the Howlers, they have the death rattle rockets. You look at the Basilisk, it has some mortars that go in it. So it's kind of very straightforward as far as weapon goes. So now let's look at the specials. And what I'm saying here, the specials I'm going to pick first work for the Warhound and they work for the Trenchers and they work for most other ships. First, you need something to give you speed. You need an engine. So let's look for combat speed. And you know, there's so many options in here. So you can just come in the search and type combat. Bonus combat speed right there. You pick this one and you're pretty much looking at all the specials that give you bonus combat speed. And not all of them are engines, right? Some of them will give you actually very little speed. So if you're looking for an engine, they're down here. You have some options. You can use the assault engine because it gives you projectile speed and penetrative damage, but I'm not building a missile ship, so it doesn't make sense, right? Um, you can look at the scorcher turbine for some radioactive damage. I'm not building a radioactive hull, so it doesn't make sense. So what makes sense here is actually, in this case, speed system six is the one that makes sense. Unless we have something the limited tab, so we can go and take a look in there. And you have the onslaught engine here. This one specific for conquerors and defenders. I don't know why defenders, because they have no speed, but for conquerors. This is the best option nowadays. So in game, these are limited. If you have some of them, go with the onslaught engine by default. And if you don't, then you go with speed system six by default. That, that would be your guy here. Okay. So I'm going to pick the onslaught engine. That's the guy for speed. So now we have one special next up. Building damage, because hitting bases requires a lot of building damage. And there's like a couple specials for that that we can use. So I'm going to again come back in here. And there's actually a predefined category for building damage. These are the options. For conquerors, the most common option is the conquest battery. Gives you 80% building and wall damage. Good. Gives you turret defense that's slightly better than the built-in. If we go back down here, we see the built-in is 5,236, 5,200. So we go in there and we pick this one is 6,400. It's a little bit better. And it gives you even more speed. And you want more speed when you're hitting a base because you have a five-minute timer and a lot of things going on. So usually more speed's better. So. Engine, Onslaught or Speed, and Conquest Battery. No brainers. Put that on your Conquerors. Easy. Next up, for even more building damage and even more base damage, Invasion Scanners. Another no brainer. Gives you some ship deflection, meaning defense against incoming fire from ships defending the base. And it gives you 25% bonus for all six known type damage types and another 75% building damage. The only caveat, this only works when you're hitting a base. It does not work if you put this ship on the base defense, which right now you can't even do anymore. Tier nine conquerors do not go in base defense anymore. So again, that kind of becomes a no brainer. So there we go. Three specials so far. Next up, in most cases, it's good to have slow resistance and evade helps you against accuracy based weapons like gorgons have missiles those are accuracy based the tempest launchers the heavy turrets they're accuracy based so helps if you have some evade so a few options i can just go in here and type evade now evade bonus uh, so option a you can go with the ecm dampener 35 evade 25 tactical field resistance and 80% slow stuns. A good choice. It could be your default choice. Option number two, none of them now are going to have everything. So you could go with agility system. You get more evade, a bit less slow and stun and no tactical field resistance at all. You could go with hyper 30 where you get some evade, 
and some even more combat speed. So your choice, these are the three main choices here. Uh, I'm gonna go with the ECM for now. Let me filter again here, ECM. So now the evade is up to 49. If evade is the thing you're going after above everything else, uh, go with agility system four. Right, I'm gonna leave this one here for now. And then tie it up to that. I'm not gonna go full into armors yet, but usually when you're looking at evade and tactical field resistance and stuff like that, you can supplement that with, there are two specific armor types at the very bottom. D6TA will give you tactical field resistance. And this one will give you slow and stun resistance. So depending on what you get, you can improve it with these two armors, tactical or slow stun. And then you have the old evade armors that you can use if you need to improve your evade, the, the D2E, D3E, D4E, and then there's the D5 EV, which gives you evade and speed. So. It's common for people to use one or two of these different combinations here. Evade, tactical, slow, and stun. So I'm going to put some tactical, for instance. Okay, so there we go. We have tactical, you have some evade, and that leaves you choose lots. These choose lots, usually now, you should be using them to improve whatever armor or whatever weapon you have here. So just keep in mind everything I have here so far. This is good for a Warhound. This is good for a Trencher, except for the weapons, of course. But the four specials, this armor, good combo. This is also good if you, if I mean, get a Subjugator. This is good for a Subjugator, okay? Now, what changes is if I'm building a Subjugator and I'm gonna pick a UAV, now I want some UAV specials here. So I'm gonna click here and select the UAV category way down. And this is what you have. So you just look at the statistics, right? Chaining range, UAV damage 49%. Uh, UAV damage 65%. This one here, UAV damage 80%. And you know, usually the tiers are not good indicator. This one's tier six, these ones are five four so they're older this one's three forget about it and the upgrades you can always use so i'm gonna put this one is the best for uavs and the next one here maybe could be the, the the upgrade i don't know if i have any limited stuff that's good for uavs we don't so you could just go simply go with the uav upgrade now there you go so you have these two but if you're building Trencher, then you don't want UAV specials. It makes no sense because you're building a ship with cannons. So now we get rid of these two. Let me put the cannon back in. And let's look at specials for cannons now. So come in here, blueprint, ballistic. What do we have here to improve ballistic options? So. Of course, all these armors here make no sense because they're doing survival. Survival doesn't work in Conquerors. Ignore the first two rows completely. And just look at the rest. So, Ballistic Force, less range, 15% more damage. Ballistic Scope, less range, more damage. This one, Reload. Um, this one, some range and accuracy. You need range. You need something to give range to your cannon. So... This one, range and reload. And this one here has a mix of range, reload, and splash. Let me look if that cannon has splash. It doesn't. It's accuracy based. So the special with splash makes no sense. Let's go back. 60% accuracy. This one is 80% reload. I kind of like this one because probably this cannon here has a very slow reload. I'm going to use the streamlined barrel loaders. If not, what else do we have that gives range and damage? This guy here doesn't give range, so we need something with range. Yeah, let's keep that one. Final special for cannons. Let's go back here, still ballistic. 
If it still says ballistic, we're good. Yes. What else can we use? So we have drum reloaders, 37 damage, 75 reload. That's good. We have ballistic calibrator. Accuracy is good because the cannon is accuracy based. Projectile speed and 70% damage. Hmm. 37% more damage, 70% more damage. I like more damage. How about you? I think of all the options here. That's the guy with the best damage potential. And, but this guy gives a lot of extra reload. So, you know, what do you want? A cannon that reloads faster, does a bit less damage, or something that does a lot more damage but fires a lot slower. That's up to you. I don't know what's right here. So in this case, I would pick either this one or this one. Okay, so let's go with this one here. Boom. So that there's a trencher for you. Now, as far for as the armor goes, just look at that damage report at the end of a battle. See what's killing you more often, right? Maybe it's scatter guns. If scatter guns are killing you the most, you scroll down there at the very end, the PvP armors, and you just pick something like this corrosive plate eight. That's gonna help you against scatter guns. Now, if people put a lot of cannons in their bases and you see ballistic damage is what's killing your ships, you know, oh, here's a ballistic plate. Gives you a lot of ballistic deflection. There's one for radioactive, one for concussive. All these number eight plates, they're the best in line. Just pick one, pick what you need. So I'm just gonna randomly here say, let, you know, right now, oh, it's scatter guns are killing me. Fine, so put this one in. Oh, and cannons are killing me. Okay, so we scroll down and put ballistic. There you go. So now I have ballistic scatter gun. And again, if we move this to a Warhound and fix for here to the right weapon, it's a Gatling gun, it's concussive, right? So maybe it's the same things killing me. I'm not going to change the armor. Or maybe you say, oh, it's that thrower or the Tempest launcher that are killing me, not cannon. So you can come in here and see how well you're going to do with radioactive plate instead. And of course, now the ballistic specials are wrong. So we'll get rid of them. And let's pick something for Gatling guns. We just click in here. Concussive. What do we have? Right, so okay, we have 50% damage tier 5. 30% damage. This is more for torpedoes, actually. No, that's not a torpedo. Oh, 90% damage, tier 8. Tier 8 is good. It matches or it's close enough to this one. So that's probably the best choice, zip drive. And then finally, you can get something for maybe critical hits. This one, that's 10% chance, 150% damage. And then there's this one that's 20% chance at 100% damage. So it's more often, you know, or you get this one. It gives you reload, concussive reload. Maybe you want more reload. Or you go with concussive force and you get 15% more damage on all hits, but a little bit less range. So again, I don't know what the right choice is. Just pick one. I'm going to pick Vulcanized Barrel. Boom. There's your Warhound. Okay, folks. So I'm going to revert two steps here. Clear, clear, clear. And I'm going to leave you with this. Whatever conquerors you're building, if you start with these four specials and this armor, you're in the right track. Okay, it's going to be decent. And just put the weapon that came with it. See what's killing most people at the moment. Put the armor against that. And then pick the, the best specials you can find for that particular weapon. That's it. There's no secrets. Okay. With that, you're going to have a decent build. You can do bounty. You can hit most bases. Build two, three of those. Mix them up. Put some trenchers with some more hounds, you know, and, and, and see how you drive. Usually, it's, it's not a good thing when you're hitting bases to just stack the five ships and try to walk in. That's bad. That's not a good hit. you got to be strategic about it. So the driving and the planning during those five minutes is as important as the build.
And that's something you only learn by doing it. So get your conquerors out there and use them. Hit the bases. My final piece of advice go into your outpost, click objectives and in the manufacturing tab, which you only have if you've built a mega hall, by the way, third option, it's a VXP Conqueror class token. Keep producing that as often as you can. So every time you build a new hall, you can rank it using these ships. You don't need to wait for VXP weekend. You can simply go and apply a whole bunch of these 5,000 VXP to any Conqueror and get it ranked. That's how people get them ranked right off the bat when they build them because they're always producing these tokens. It takes only six hours. So if you log in the game two, three times a day at different times, you can probably crank out one to three of those a day. Easy. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good time. Take care. See you next time.